You're from Hungary. Yes, I'm from Hungary. I am from the other Hungary. Now there is another Hungary. And this is one of my biggest political goals to show here, that Hungary is uh, not only what Viktor Orban represents, not only populism and hate, but there is also European, democratic and open Hungary. So, so you can still function openly? You're allowed to state your opinion? I'm allowed to state my opinion, but uh, if I would be a small businessman in the countryside, or if I would be operating an NGO, and there would be quite severe consequences. One of our party members was uh, harassed by the police. He was taken into custody because he posted critical comments on Facebook. His uh, computer was confiscated. This he sounds like, if I may, he would make an incredible governor of Florida, this Victor Orban. Well, it looks like his influence is spreading indeed, and this is why it's so worrying. Do you think he's going to side ultimately with Putin? It is a very critical moment indeed, because uh, Orban has been playing this double game yes. for so long. This ambiguity, that he is in the Western alliance, but actually he's making deals with uh, shady dictators to our east. Ever since the war broke out, yes. he is the only uh, government leader in Europe that is openly speaking against joint European action. He is acting as a Trojan horse of Vladimir Putin at the European negotiating tables. He is State media is spewing Russian propaganda. Can you imagine that the mouthpieces of a government propaganda television in the middle of the European Union are saying things like Ukraine is not a real country and the war is actually uh, waged according to US policy interests. That Ukraine is only the proxy of the United States in this war. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, think I, I, I think I know, so you're talking about Fox, Fox News Network, well, that, is that the one that is in Hungary saying these things because they're they're saying them in our country too. And uh, is it paid by uh, your taxpayers' money? Uh, no, we give them. It's paid by. So, do you know a gentleman named Rupert Murdoch? Of course. So his goal has been to ruin Australia, Britain, and the United States so that Putin can gain more leverage. And I guess Orban is is in that as well. Those uh, Republicans from the United States, how would they uh, see Viktor Orban if they know what he is saying? about America being a terrorist state. Mm -hmm. Also, or how would they respond to American uh, medias are uh, being uh, censored? How is it uh, compatible with the party of uh, so-called uh, oh, freedom? They would be delighted. Are if, if America would begin to censor their opponents, they would, they would be delighted by that. Mm. Because they're not actually a, a news organization, they're a, a propaganda organization. You know, it's so interesting how the talking points of the populists uh, align globally, because these are also talking points of Viktor Orban. Will Viktor Orban stay in power? We are working uh, on a change. Are... Will, will he allow that, the change, or...? It is harder and harder. And uh, this is what I really want to underline also for a global audience. Please. That the slippery slope is real. It is much easier to destroy a democracy than to build it back. The farther away we get from mm -hmm. a stable and democratic country, the more difficult it is to revert back. But we are not giving up in Hungary. We are fighting, and uh, I think we also have to show to the world that we are not only the first to unleash uh, this populist uh, virus on Earth, but mm -hmm. we have to be also the ones who are responsible for stopping that. We also need to show a way for Hungarians and for the world a chance for a new leadership, a new way of doing politics, a new way to represent Hungary. Because I truly believe that Viktor Orban does not represent the majority of our citizens here. Because Hungarians are pro-European, they are pro-democracy. Hungarians uh, want to live in a free environment. Well, how does he keep winning? Doesn't he keep winning? He's, uh, he is winning because, first of all, media is a very, very strong machine. And, uh, Does he own the media? He owns majority of the media. And unfortunately, he has managed to build a system where European money is funneled through friends and cronies and oligarchs who in return buy media and buy power for his system to be sustained. We are in the brink of a very devastating uh, economic crisis in Hungary. Uh, inflation is double the rate of the European level. Food inflation is 40%. Hungarian citizens are suffering. And right now we see a government who is unwilling to make changes for uh, them to get the money, the European money. The inflation is 40% for certain goods in, in Hungary. For food. And Orban is still in power. He is in power. 
and the people are not angry at him for the high inflation. And you know, this is a tricky part, because uh, he is using the media machine that he managed to build up, uh, also with the help of the European funds, on you, on the United States, on the sanctions, on the war. He's blaming us? He's blaming everybody but himself. And so in Hungary, they believe that it's our fault? They believe it's not his fault. It's not Orban's fault? Not his fault. And not Putin's fault? No, it is the fault of those who would like to push back against the aggressor. So you're saying if you have a media machine that purposefully lies to its people to maintain a political fiction and get themselves power, that that is the hallmark of an authoritarian system, not a democratic system. Absolutely. Well, if we were ever to get something like that in the United States, we would be horrified, furious, to know that there was an entire media organization designed to bend reality, to manipulate facts, to maintain power, it would, if I may, and I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to slam Hungary, it would never happen in the United States. It's just not, I, I almost can't even conjure it, imagine it. It must be very difficult mm. to live in a country where one media organization, out of whole cloth, knowingly, explicitly, maybe even in meetings, behind the scenes might say, we're lying to our audience, holy shit, and then call for news people to be fired for telling the truth. I mean, if something like that happened in the United States, it would be a dark day indeed. So I appreciate you raising the alarm bells for us. You know, I belong to the first generation of Hungarians who were born and raised in freedom. And currently it looks like it's also the last. The consequences are very deep, and you have to watch out for democracy. No matter how stable it seems from where you are standing from, mm -hmm. or, or as how unstable. Democracy is really something that has to be guarded every single day. Uh, every election is a fight for democracy. Every single uh, vote you cost has to be measured also no based on that. And thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.